Everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So we are here in Georgia on the primitive hunting season. And what are we going to be doing, Chad? We're going to be hunting the deer. Yeah, baby. Let's get it done. On this special episode of Up North Air Gunner, we are out here in Georgia with Eric and Chad from Iraq Veteran 8888. What are we doing this week? We're going to be swacking some deer is what we're going to be dang doing. So what's interesting about Georgia, they've crammed all of these awesome primitive weapons into one season from black powder to archery, crossbows, air guns, air gun arrows. They put it all into this one primitive season. Got that Norwegian sniper going on with the old school gun. Hit it up. So Eric and I cover this topic in greater detail that's going to be on his channel, Iraq Veteran 8888. But what's really interesting about all this air gun technology and arrow shooting air guns, you know, we see this coming out into the marketplace and we think it's new or a lot of people are seeing this like, oh, that's new technology. Really, it's not. So the technologies and the inventions that really started all of this predates definitely all the modern archery equipment that we see out there center fires for sure even a lot of black powder technology so this stuff goes way way back so to put it in the primitive season makes a lot of sense here in georgia and what we're going to be doing this week is testing the Dreamline. you've seen on my channel we've been doing stuff with the crown in the previous uh, videos but this week we're using the crown and the Dreamline. so what's great about the arrow kit from fx is you can literally pick up one of these kits for like a hundred bucks from utah air guns comes with the arrows comes with the special barrel pop that in and you're ready to rock all right so the two guns we're gonna be testing today on this uh, terminal ballistics on a pig that we have uh, that oscar shot last night is the fx dreamline all right so this is bone stock without any kind of slug power kit no tungsten hammer nothing so with the dreamline we are shooting these 225 grain broadheads pretty darn heavy as compared to the typical 100 grain broadheads you would normally run and we are at 225 so again it's not any breaking any speed records but you are shoving a lot of inertia and momentum with these bigger broadheads so deeper penetration Let's see what kind of penetration we're getting at the bag. Upper right. Ooh, nice. 228. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> Full pass through. I won't call that. You're ready, baby. Yeah. Just to give you kind of a point of reference, my compound bow shooting the exact overall grain weight of broadhead and arrow is getting about 250 feet per second. So just kind of put it in archery terms. And the reason why this matters is you're getting great um, penetration, but shot distance. So deer love to jump that string with uh, archery equipment and they will jump the shot with arrow slingers. Well, one of the things that's really critical for everybody to understand as they uh, choose to use these to hunt with is it's very uh, similar to archery. Depending on the distance to the deer, we can tell how much the arrow is going to drop. We, that's, a, that's a known event. What we don't know is what the deer is going to do. And so depending on the deer's current mood, um, are they being pressured? Are they anxious? Are they completely relaxed? I'd like to kind of go over three different uh, shots that I have taken uh, actually in the last uh, year and a half on deer. And the first one we're going to look at is a recent deer hunt that we went on here in Michigan. And this was a completely calm deer, had no idea that I was in that tree. I let loose the shot. It was at 25 yards and he might have dropped a little bit at the sound of the report, but uh, definitely just did not drop a lot. So the next shot was last year hunting at the same location, but this deer actually saw us and I think he might've winded us a little bit walking in and he was flicking his tail. He was on, he was on alert a little bit more. And you'll notice when we let loose this shot, his legs basically just pull right out from underneath him and he's starting to fall pretty rapidly. So the difference from between my point of aim and the point of impact was a couple inches on this one. So if we would have pushed that out even further, uh, to like 30 or 35 yards that could have been a little bit of a of a sketchy shot 
Now this last shot, this actually happened on the very first day of hunting in Georgia. And I really thought it was important to include it in this video was this deer came in and when it's extremely agitated, I think what it was, I think there was actually a coyote in that wood line. So she was pacing back and forth and she was, you know, sniffing the wind, tail was flicking, came right at 20 yards and I had my crosshairs right on my 20 yard pin and I was getting ready to let loose and she turned around and she bolted. Now she didn't run very far. She just was very skittish and just did not like what was going on in that wood line. But then she turned hard quartering away and I could see that armpit. So I'm gonna pull it up to my 30 yard pin and I'm gonna take this shot and watch what happens. So this deer completely ducks, completely out of the way of that arrow. That arrow sails over her back, didn't touch her. She wasn't wounded and she ran off. So. Now this was using the dream line at 225 feet per second with my 30 yard pin. And I'm gonna say, based on this little reaction right here, if that deer is not settled, that 30 yard shot is, is entirely too long. Another quick observation to mention is I, I get a lot of comments from people saying, air powered arrow slingers in the woods are way too loud. It's gonna spook all the deer. The deer are never gonna come back. It's, it's gonna be like having the firearm season all year long. That's total rubbish. I have I have harvested quite a few deer now with this arrow slinger. And this right here, this clip right here is a kind of a proof of this. Um, when I shot over the top of the back of that doe, literally five minutes later, this four point buck comes through, had no idea. And I'm telling you that the shot report of these things, one, it's not going supersonic. And so there's not that sonic crack. I have literally heard trees that make more noise than these things. So they're not quiet, but the woods can be a loud place. But again, it's not a sonic crack. Deer don't get too spooked. Trust me on this. So anyway, I wanted to show you this footage just to better understand what deer do when you're using arrow air guns. So at 225, you really want to keep those shots probably 25 yards and closer, maybe even 20 yards and closer with a bone stock crown. You know, you could probably go out there 30, maybe 35 that's now you're kind of getting into the danger zone of having them jump the shot but also we've got some secret sauce in this crown we actually have the slug power kit and also a tungsten hammer which means we can run this at a much higher pressure now you're achieving crossbow power with a fx crown and that's absolutely wicked So we're going to see what the difference is from this hot rotted crown versus a bone stock Dreamline. So yeah, let's do some terminal ballistics testing on that pig. Let's check it out. Okay, so first up is the Dreamline basically pushing these bolts at recurve bow velocity. So not even into a compound, maybe like a really lightweight compound bow, but definitely a, a recurve bow velocity. Okay, so I mean that would definitely be a kill shot. It's in there pretty deep. So just to show you kind of the difference here. So you're getting that much penetration into the pig at 20 yards. So that is still pretty significant. We're not getting a full pass through, but that's double long and that's gonna put that pig down. So now let's try to crown. Dude, <laughs> so look at that. You can actually see the back of the bolt. The big difference between these two projectiles and the amount of uh, kinetic energy you've got hitting that pig is that this one is going about 225 and that one is going 300 feet per second. And again, these are with 225 grain broadheads. So you're gonna get a lot more velocity with 100 grain broadheads, but with mechanicals, you're just not gonna get that kind of penetration. In our testing, especially with pigs, when that mechanical deploys into that, it just stops. But these fixed blade, uh, single bevel, right hand beveled broadheads are the way to go. Definitely check those out. So the full crew we had out for the week was uh, myself. We had Brandon from FXUSA. We had Chad and Eric from Iraq Veteran 8888, and we had also my good buddy Oscar from GRS Rifle Stocks. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> I love hunting with this guy.
after a full day of testing, we were able to get around the campfire, told some great stories, had some great food, had some great drinks. Well, the Viking was getting a little tired, so it was time to go to bed, get up early the next morning, and hit the woods. We had been seeing deer in the stand all week long. But what happens next was probably one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me in the deer hunting woods. Let's check it out. just smoked that huge buck. Man, he was cordling towards me. I could not get that shot and I was hiding behind the camouflage of the snedding and I had to wait forever. I was holding that off hand unsupported. My God, it felt like eternity. And he finally turned broadside and smoked him. <laughs> FX baby. Eagle. We're standing right there, and we've got immediate blood. All right. We're going to give him some time, but I think he's right there. So we were there in the uh, uh, pop-up blind, uh, 22 yards away, and he was coming straight at me. And I just, with these uh, dream lines and the, and the crowns, you don't really want to take any quartering two shots. You really want to make sure they're broadside or quartering away. He came in, eating right here, just facing me straight on though. Turns, and then there's another buck standing right here. He goes to lock, lock antlers, quartering away shot. Came in through the liver, right side long, aiming for the backside shoulder, full penetration. So when he jumped up and mule kicked, you'll see it in the video. He kicks that left leg back, and it was right in his armpit and snapped that off. Full penetration. So we're gonna give him a couple minutes and track him, but he's dead. He's down. Yep, yeah, blood. he got blood right there. Oh yeah. All right. He he's done. Mm -hmm. He's done. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> there he is. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Good oh, track. Man, thank you so Good much, track. Eric. Thank you so much. Chad, thanks so much for everything, man. Good out. tracking, Austin. Oh, good job, buddy. Thank you. Neil! <laughs> All right. Oh, man. A nice deer. Ooh. Oh, I think that's a, a, pain, a little pain there. Look at that. Right, just. I could not have just planned that any better. Oh, my God. Man. My first Georgia deer right there. And... My very first deer with the FX Dreamline. Check that out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is awesome. And Oscar got one tonight with the, uh, the crown. So FX just getting the job done tonight here in the deer hunting woods in Georgia. All right, so there it is everybody. The FX Arrow Guns. Tell you what, if you're looking to get into something new or to expand your deer hunting experience, Definitely check these out from Utah Air Guns. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. What an awesome week here in Georgia. Did you guys have fun? Oh, yes. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Thanks for joining us.